Each mud ball turns into a cement-hard mini-brick when dry. They build nests that reach heights of up to 15 meters above the ground. On a human scale, they are like six kilometer high skyscrapers. In comparison with termite mounds, many of our large cities are small. Moreover, the order, sanitation, and safety of a city of many millions of homo sapiens can't be compared with the order, sanitation, and safety of a termite mound with the same number of millions of inhabitants. In nature, size and design are not random. Since millions of years ago, the shapes created by living beings are guaranteed by the most demanding quality control authority, evolution. The chambers built by potter wasps to shelter their larvae involve a perfectly calculated design and production technique. One shouldn't be surprised to find that the best designed materials are so similar. Since ancient times, humans have used pottery and defined civilizations and cultures by their pots and pottery artifacts. It's likely, once again, that the muse that inspired human potters was a lower animal called the potter wasp. We could learn an enormous amount from insects. As you can see in this documentary series, some of the most important patents really should belong to them. But this is how history is written, and it's written on paper. It's said that paper was invented in China almost 2,000 years ago. Chinese paper or Egyptian papyrus, it's the same thing. In spite of the centuries gone by, the basis of paper making is always the same, extracting plant fibers from wood to transform them into precious paper pulp. It's a process that common wasps have performed since ancient times with no destruction of the environment nor pollution. At the beginning of the dry season, wasps set off in a mad search for dry grass or old branches. Once they have selected the raw wood, they keep scraping the pieces until they get the raw material. The wood is chewed and processed in their mouths and mixed with saliva until the fibers and cellulose are softened. Wasps thus obtain an easily shaped pulp, liquid cardboard, a crude kind of paper, but paper nonetheless. Paper has been employed in so many different ways that we would need too much paper to describe all of them. The same thing is true of wasps and other insects. They've invented so many things that they would put the most ingenious inventor to shame. Bees, cousins of the wasps, have developed wax, a hydrophobic building material that is fully waterproof and heat insulating. In addition, it includes many complex antibiotic systems that keep the hive free of infections. And what about honey? The condensed food par excellence. That's a lot of inventions. But before getting overwhelmed by insignificant insects, you must remember another magnificent detail. The hexagonal cells. Both bees and wasps use them. The reason is really quite simple. The hexagon is the geometric shape that uses the least space and material while providing the greatest structural strength.
A honeycomb may weigh over 100 kilos and can still stand on just a few cells. The turtle's strong shell is also made of hexagons. The six sides of each plate are very suited to making a hemisphere, a vaulted figure like a dome or an arch. The forms employed the most often in architecture to distribute pressure. Pressure is distributed equally towards the sides through a curve. This makes it possible to support heavy weights over an opening. In the case of the turtle, pressure may be exerted by the jaws of a large carnivore. Turtles are not impregnable fortresses, but their evolutionary age confirms their successful design. Other species, like so many other engineers, seem to understand a lot about volume, surface area, and geometric shapes. These living beings control and manage variables pertaining to the theorems of both Thales and Pythagoras. Especially when their living work is themselves. With just a little observation, we can find natural spirals, polyhedrons, or spheres among animals. Figures made without a ruler or a compass, but that correspond to mathematical equations. We have seen skillful animals using tools, manufacturing materials, and designing all kinds of structures. Many of them carry this information in their genes, and they just follow their instincts. Other animals have to learn the techniques, and therefore have to be able to process the mental images of their devices. Sometimes nature is the true architect that has selected the most innovative blueprints in order for its creatures to face life successfully. For man, it has been even easier. We only had to watch nature and copy it with guaranteed success. The guarantee of the most important experience wildlife experience.